Carly in the studio with us now. Carly, school's starting again, which means school sports are starting right away. And the that's best part of school, right? Oh, abso <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you got excited me. there. I really did, I did. <laughs> Can you tell I'm looking forward yeah. to the school sports? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I'm not the only one, that's for sure. All right, well, the Lakeland Rustlers men's soccer program's inaugural season didn't go exactly as planned. The green and gold improved as the year went on, picking up a pair of ties, but they couldn't crack the win column. Well, as Aaron Strack reports, the new-look wrestlers are putting in some extra time on the pitch to not only pick up the club's first victory, but to get off on the right foot. Jordan Smith is one of the four returning wrestlers this season. The Winnipeg product says he has noticed a difference starting training two weeks earlier than a year ago. Just the mentality maybe is a lot stronger. Everyone on the field it's from out of town basically and we don't want to waste our time and just win games this year. This is the entire season for us. We've only got um, 10 games which is five weeks, basically first week of school. So if we start off slow and then look to progress, by that time we're 0-4, which means we're out of the playoffs. So um, in order for us to have success, um, we're going to have to have a successful preseason. It's a triangle now. Good, now get up, get up. The Rustlers lacked leadership last year. Wagner is hoping the veterans can grab the bull by the horns. Um, and I think that that's going to help them. Their experience is going to help them. Um, now they just have to make the, everyone else better as well. 95% of the team is at camp training. A few players are local with the rest of the roster from around the country. We've got four or five of the provinces covered and it means it's going to make us a lot more dynamic but it also means that we're going to have to spend a little more time together to get to that point. Uh, we're starting to gel a lot more as a team. Um, this past weekend really helped with that in playing U of S and uh, I'm really looking forward to this next week. The Rustlers kick off the season on the road September 10th in Lethbridge followed by a game in Medicine Hat on the 11th. Our goal right now is to definitely improve on last year and just really show Lloyd and the rest of the ACAC that we're a team to be reckoned with. Aaron Streck, New Cap Sports. All right, and from the pitch to the ice we go now, where it might be an all-rookie outing, but it will be a meeting of North Division rivals nonetheless when the Pontiacs visit the Bobcats tonight at the Civic Center. It is time to preseason like the party. Tonight, the 50-game AJHL preseason begins here in the Border City. Your first look at the Bobcats rookies won't cost you a penny. Admission for tonight's tilt is free. Puck drop is set for 7 at the Civic. We go back to the ballpark now where earning an athletic scholarship might just be the next best thing to getting paid to play the sport you love as a pro. Aaron Strack caught up with the Lloydminster Rebels who are taking their game south of the border this winter in hopes of turning some recruits heads. The Rebels season on the diamond may be over but soon the girls will be heading indoors to prepare for American competition. I think it's really big because we do have a good uh, year next year coming up and just going to the states to show us off type of thing as a team will I think get colleges looking at us. We've never done this before so we're all excited to try something different and new and it could help us if we do want to get scholarships. This is the first time the Rebels are traveling an elite team down to the states. They will be attending three tournaments, two in Las Vegas and another one to be announced. Any of these girls that do get seen, um, they'll have the opportunity to get calls and uh, get kind of put on a list to be looked at, at at future tournaments. While hockey scholarships have traditionally opened many doors for Canadian kids, softball programs are starting to do the same. In order to make an even up opportunity for girls, they've uh, included softball in their program. So now there's like 3,000 scholarships out there plus um, that girls can buy for. The players are on board for the experience and the shot to make an impression. Most of these girls, they have, uh, you know, total ambition of going to post-secondary education anyway. And it just seems like it's kind of the icing on the cake if you can say somewhere down the road, oh, I went to New Mexico or I went to Hawaii or whatever. Show them that we're as good as them, we can play as good as them, and we deserve a scholarship as much as they do. Aaron Streck, New Cap Sports. 
And a local golf update for you tonight. Today when Joanne Schiller hit the links at the Senior Women's Nationals in Whitevale, Ontario, she was sitting tied for 65th at 18 over par. While Joanne's score helped Saskatchewan sit in 8th place. Today the ladies played their second round and the field was reduced down to the top 65. Unfortunately for Lloyd Minster's very own Golf and Curling Center Schiller, she was not able to make the cut, but she did contribute to Saskatchewan 8th place finish. Congratulations, Joanne.